it has been a period we've seen over the last week of assets that are considered risk-free or close to risk-free have been the demise of SVB. AT1s in Switzerland, more risky than perhaps most people had thought given that they've been zeroed out. I, I gotta say, yes, Ili, the one rule of investing in credit is you gotta read the document, mm. right? And, and it said in the Credit Suisse AT1 documents, I mean, it said what would happen, the Swiss government wasn't pretending. The rules are different in Switzerland than they are in the UK, or they are in France, or they are in the US. The, the US banks don't use this stuff as much, but the, the, you know, the, the one rule in credit investing, and this is you know, to that question that sort of might, you know, will a systemic credit event cause the problem? Will a, you know, I don't think we've seen the lows in equities for this cycle. Personally, I think we, you know, we have a big sell-off somewhere in our near future. I mean, I don't mean this week, but I mean, you know, coming. The, the, could it be caused by credit? Will it be caused by earnings first? Don't know. I mean, you have to see how it develops. But, but people who, you know, if you invest in a bond or you lend money to someone and you don't read the document, you deserve whatever happens to you. 